in a human being, this will temporarily incapacitate him from doing whatever his particular occupation or task might be. Man has a higher ordered nervous system and brain development, and therefore, effects on his mind and his behavior will most probably be more pronounced than would be observed in other species. At all times, all precautions are taken relative to the safety of the individual, with the importance of the program for the country's benefit in mind. The psychochemical compounds induce changes in a human that cause a behavior which is not consistent with his usual performance nor the understanding of the operations to be performed by him in his routine duties. Our major emphasis is in finding out what effects, in safe doses, these compounds cause in man, and at the same time, intelligently arriving at improved diagnosis and therapy, in order that we may be prepared if these compounds are used against us. I would like to emphasize again the intense and careful examination each volunteer receives. I took the aerosol test, which consists of breathing a chemical through a machine in the aerosol building. During the test, we had to take several small written tests with mathematical problems and word problems, drawing pictures. Answering questions on maps, which consisted of distances and lengths of different lines, and different ways to travel to and from these places, which would be the shortest route or the longest route. Also, a lot of questions on the date, the time of day it was, and how did we feel, and just different things about small questions. During the test, we started out pretty good until the stuff started to take effect. Then I became Oh, sluggish. It was hard for me to stand any length of time. One of the things we had to do was to assemble an M1 rifle as fast as we could. All right, John, let's sit down in this chair here. Huh? Okay, Okay, John, you remember what you're supposed to do with this rifle? Remember, you're supposed to put it together. All right, ready? Start. I could hardly think for myself. Dizzy. Well, which piece goes in first, John? And my vision blurred a lot of the time. That's not the one. Can you show me which piece goes in first? Come on, you did this this morning in less than a minute. Is that the one? Show me the piece that goes in first. Yeah. Okay, where does that go? Come on, come on now. I'm not finished. Come on. You gotta put this together. Okay, you'll be in time now, so come on. It really sting. What's that? Didn't you say we had an inspection tomorrow? I want this bed made up in about five minutes. You're gonna have to sleep in that tonight, you know? We never study a compound as to its effect on man without considering simultaneously possible prophylactic and therapeutic methods and materials that might be effective against these compounds. In this way, we are prepared if such classes of compounds are used against us. This, of course, means that we must have a strong and continuing research and development program, both in the lethal and the incapacitating field, primarily pointed toward the defensive measures 
that may be necessary to keep this country safe